And he joins us now. <laughs> so great to have you here. It's lovely to be here. Yeah. I always love this country. It's a very easy thing to say, but there's something about Australia. I remember walking out of the Four Seasons in Sydney about three years ago, and I realised I feel more comfortable here than I do in England. I don't understand it. We should just move. Yeah. 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 And it's very strange, because when I was a kid, I was obsessed by the Ashes, but I was an Australia supporter. So I knew all about uh, Woodfall and Ponsford and Bradman and Kippax and Oldfield and Bill O'Reilly and Clary Grimmett. I knew all about these... Tests that have been played in the 30s, and then when I was 13, I changed my allegiance back to back to England. Oh, oh. It was oh. strange, yeah. though. Well, why? Well, back. Yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you supporting the the series at the moment? Oh yes. Well, why why did you leave your home country? Uh, money. They need money. Money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that checks out completely. If I could get paid for watching cricket on television, I'd be a very happy. <laughs> hey, let's talk about the show you are doing while yeah. you're here. I love this. An evening with the late. John Cleese. Well, I died about six weeks ago. <laughs> 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 you didn't read about it? No. Oh, it was, <laughs> big, it was a big, big story in England. Yes, I died. And oh. then I rose on the third day. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a little bit more money. Yes, of <laughs> So I came to Oz for a tour. How did you know you were dead? Uh, just, I couldn't get up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I checked the obituary column yes. and I was in it. Really? What yes, did it say? Quite yeah, what, did, what did your obituary you know, say? You think, oh, I didn't know I was dead. And then what <laughs> happens is that people behave as though you're not there. Really? Oh, oh yes, I said to my wife, hello, good morning, and she just looked straight through me. Oh. <laughs> wow. I yeah. think that's just marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the last time you were on, you said that you were associating with academics who had evidence of an afterlife. Yes, well, I've been interested in this for a long time because I think that scientists know less than they think. Mm. I think there's a whole lot of stuff going on that they can't explain and that they sort of want to sweep under the carpet. And the people that I know, mainly academics, are several of them, for example, uh, the uh, Virginia University, University of Virginia, who've been studying this kind of thing. It's a very, very interesting matter. And you don't get much about it on... Uh, television or in the papers, except in a slightly sensational way, you know, and it's also got religious connotations, and it's not that, it's a scientific matter. So what evidence do you have of it? Well, you take out-of-body experiences. There are people who have out-of-body experiences when they uh, leave their body, sometimes during an operation, and they observe what's going on, and sometimes they even leave and go somewhere else, oh. and then come back. And afterwards, when they reunite with their body, they have information that they couldn't possibly have had unless okay. they'd had an out-of-body experience. There's an extraordinary story about a Hispanic in, Amer- in America who uh, was in a ward for something, and, and she just mentioned to the nurses, she said, oh, I, I had an out-of-body experience. And the nurses are interested, the doctors aren't. Right. But the nurses yeah. are, and, and they said, well, tell more. And she said, well, I went around the outside of the building. There's a, a tennis shoe on the windowsill on the other side. So one of the nurses went and checked, and there was a tennis shoe, and you couldn't see it from the ground. Oh, wow. So how did so she how... know it was there? Oh, so have you ever... If she has, you see, what it means is that this brain is not creating consciousness. It's more like a television set. And oh. the program's not being made in the set... The program is picking the, uh, the the television set is picking the program up and making oh. it transferable it's to this? you. So, so maybe you the brain is this an out of body experience <laughs> right now? Yeah. This could be ha- it, yeah, right this now. Could be, oh, this isn't happening. Does really? it? <laughs> okay, so you're dead. This isn't on air. What's going on? <laughs> but actually, if you look at the evidence and not the not the sensational stuff, but the academic stuff, there's a lot of things that uh, the uh, uh, contemporary science can't explain. And they're rather dishonest about it, I think, because they sweep it under the carpet and they say it's rubbish. But actually, there's very good academic research that suggests that it's the best explanation for some of the phenomena. We can't uh, let you go without talking a little bit about faulty towers. At least I can't, because it's. I think it's one of the greatest. I don't want to things. talk about faulty. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not all about you, is it? I mean, I can no, ask about no, faulty towers. No. Well, you can talk about faulty towers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> done it all afternoon. Yeah. So, what kind of a name is Wally, did he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, is it an anagram? No. <laughs> it's just it's just Arabic. I, I take is your it? Arabic's not great. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried oh, to oh. learn it once. Jeanette. Really? Well, there's about four H's and, and, and two K's or something. Yeah. There's so many yeah, sounds you know, in the back of my do, you know what, do you know what John is in Arabic? Right. Yahya. I bet you can't say that either. Yahya. Um, Yahya. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. This is this is yeah. compelling television. <laughs> <laughs> it's but more I, interesting than Forty Towers. Well, anyway. I don't think it, here's the question I want to ask you. Well, of all the comedy you've seen, sort of lately, this century, the last, are there any ones that you look at and you go, I see Forty Towers imprint on that. I see oh. Forty Towers in what they're doing. That's a very interesting question. I don't <sighs> think so. Really? Well, Forty Towers is a farce. Yeah. You know? Mm. I don't know. You, I th Americans don't know the word, but I think the, uh, the, the Brits and the, and the Aussies yeah. know farce. And it's a kind of comedy that I've always loved because it's played at a slightly higher level of intensity yeah. than ordinary comedy. And that, because of that extra energy, it gets the biggest laughs. So not The Office or anything Yes, like but that? that's uh, a slightly distance because it's uh, a camera on the fly, uh, what do they call it, eye on the wall, uh, yeah. fly, on the, yeah, yeah, fly yeah. on the wall stuff, which distances it slightly. Yeah. Uh, I think it's very funny, but it's just a different type of comedy. I wouldn't call that fast because also the, for the point about Forty Tires is the scenes are very long. They're not short. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for letting me ask that question. Yeah. Not at all. So I'm glad we got there. Yeah. And um, how, how do you say John in Arabic? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like close. It. You did yeah, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You'll be speaking Arabic by the end of the night. Uh, <laughs> to my family name was Cheese. You know that, do you? Yes, I do. Because, yeah, because so I could be Yakya Cheese. Yakya <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> I mean, it's got a real ring to it. Yeah. Um, if you would like tickets to an evening with the late Yahya Cheese, uh, <laughs> they are available now. Go buy them before it's too late, obviously. This will be fantastic to watch. Head to our website for details. In the meantime, would you please thank John Cleese? <laughs>